Good evening. Merry Christmas. Welcome to our candlelight communion service. If you haven't done so, then I invite you to uh, get uh, a little bit of wine or, or uh, fruit of the vine, some juice and uh, some bread or cracker, and you'll be ready for when we uh, partake of communion. I'm coming from home. Uh, you're all in your homes. We're separate, but we are together on this blessed night. We'll begin with a call to worship written by Richard Vaught um, last year, actually. On that first Christmas Eve, Mary, Joseph, and the newborn Jesus were in their family bubble, safe and together for that night. We gather tonight, distant but together, as families in our own homes, but also as family with Jesus. We may be separated from the night of his birth by geography and time. We may be separated from each other because of this pandemic, but we are together in God's love. Nothing can separate us from that or from each other in that. So, friends, in the name of Jesus, let us be together in this time of Christmas worship. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Amen. We'll begin with uh, our hymn, O Little Town of Bethlehem. We light our candles tonight, celebrating the hope, peace, joy, and love foretold with the birth of Jesus. Okay. 
Não é problema. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't want to light. Hope born in a manger, marked by a star in the night. Peace as a ribbon binding us to God's love. Joy as a heartbeat measuring justice and truth. Love as God's breath giving us life. Grace of God come in Jesus to set us free. Amen. And let's sing together, O come all ye faithful.
I hope you're all singing like crazy at home. Isaiah 9, verse 2. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. I share with you a blessing by Jan Richardson. I cannot tell you how the light comes. What I know is that it is more ancient than imagining, that it travels across an astounding expanse to reach us, that it loves searching out what is hidden, what is lost, what is forgotten, or in peril, or in pain. That it has a fondness for the body, for finding its way toward flesh, for tracing the edges of form, for shining forth through the eye, the hand, the heart. But that it does, that it will, that it works its way into the deepest dark that enfolds you. Though it may seem long ages in coming, or arrive in a shape you did not foresee. And so may we this day turn ourselves toward it. May we lift our faces to let it find us. May we bend our bodies to follow the arc it makes. May we open and open more and open still to the blessed light that comes. Let us pray. God of surprising generosity and unexpected grace, we yearn to be part of a miracle. And so we prepare our hearts for a new invasion of your light. We desire once again to open our souls and our lives to the divine birth. And in this sacred moment, we ask for your gentle presence to captivate and challenge us. May the glory of the grace of Jesus be reborn in us this night. Amen. Let's join together in singing, still, still, still. Let us pray. Now, in the silence, whisper of joy which comes into every life. Now, in the comfort of carol, sing of hope which takes away the despair which envelops us. Now, in familiar words heard anew, 
speak to us of grace, which is born into barren lives, of peace, which is birthed in war's shadowed fears. Now leaning next to those who have always been a part of us and those from whom we have been apart, remind us of your heart, which always accepts us, always welcomes us. Now in the love, which is ours forever, draw us closer to your heart so we can be surprised by wonder, swaddled in serenity, embraced by tenderness. Now touch us once again with Christmas, God in community, holy in one. Amen. And we sing now together. Other infant, holy, infant, lowly. Now we hear the story of the babe who is born for you and I and for all people. I read from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 20. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own homes to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in, a in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. And so they went with haste 
and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. And when they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Hmm. May we find our place in this story. Let's sing together, hark the herald angels sing. Let us pray. Our God, Emmanuel, while we meet tonight in warm fellowship and love, we pray for those who are still out in the cold. The light of Bethlehem's greatest child, touch every dark place. For those who, because of persistent hatred, terrorism, or war, are far from the promise of peace and goodwill. Come, Emmanuel, and help your servants complete the works of love and peace which you have launched. For those who this night live in refugee camps, squat in derelict buildings, or sleep in back alleys or on park benches, Come, Emmanuel, and aid all in your all your lost and homeless children to find their true inheritance. For those who are ill at home or in hospitals, the diseased and maimed, the latest accident victims of our highways and streets, come, Emmanuel, and bring comfort and hope through those nurses and doctors who do your healing work this night. For those grieving folk who, for the first time, are facing Christmas without a precious loved one at their side, come, Emmanuel, and give to the grieving that deep soul peace that no human voice or hand can offer. For the church in every land, wherever it worships and works in peace, 
and especially where it lives under constant threat and persecution. Come, Emmanuel, and give all your people the assurance of your constant presence and your all-sufficient grace. And now, both friend, holy friend, we pray for ourselves that this Christmas may not pass in vain. O Spirit of Christ, you are the very word of God who became flesh. Give each of us the will and the wisdom to fulfill our prayers with appropriate actions. To your praise and glory. Amen. This table is open to all. May the God of silent nights be with you. May the God of herald angels be with you. Open your hearts to the one born in the little town of Bethlehem. May Emmanuel come to abide in our hearts. Join all believers in singing of our joy this night. May our voices blend with those of the angels and the shepherds. Gathering around the table as we celebrate new life morning, we remember so many stories shared around tables, tables where bread is broken and cup is poured out, where families gather and generations share, where stories are remembered, refined, and reshaped. Gathering around the table on this holy night, we remember the story of the sacred daring to enter to share our life. The story of the holy donning human flesh and dwelling among us. A story that has once both ethereal and earthly. Gathering around this table at this holy time, we remember the babe who grew into a boy and then a man. A man who walked with the outcast, ate with the marginalized, showed compassion for those suffering, and brought healing to all. Gathering around the table on this Christmas night, we break the bread and remember the paradox that it is in our brokenness that we become whole. We fill this cup and remember the abundance discovered in each new sharing of our sacred story. Together around the table, we pray, Holy Spirit, come, come, bless this bread and bless this fruit of the vine. Bless all of us in our eating and drinking, that our eyes might be opened, that we might recognize the Spirit rising in our midst. Indeed, in one another, come, Holy Spirit, come. The bread of life, broken for us. The fruit of the vine, poured out for us. I pour from a jug into a cup. The bread is on a plate that came from Jerusalem. We break bread on this night in solidarity with all the people who seek to live full lives with the abundance of God's love. The bread of life and the cup of blessing for you. Mary responded to God with great joy and exaltation. We too are invited to respond to God's presence in our lives. 
Let us offer ourselves in joy as we receive this bread and this cup of blessing. And let us pray. Eternal God, in Jesus Christ, your light shines in our darkness, giving joy in our sorrow and presence in our loneliness. Fill us with the mystery of your word made flesh until our hearts overflow with praise and joy. For Jesus is the beginning and the end of all that exists, living forevermore. Amen. Let's join together in our final hymn, Silent Night, Holy Night. May your Christmas be blessed with peace. Amen. Amen. God bless all of you. Have a very Merry Christmas. Have a blessed peace. Know that Christ is born again into our lives, into our hearts. Each time we show love to one another. Peace, my friends.